Today we are going to learn how to tell time in Chinese. First, we'll cover telling time on the hour. To tell time on the hour, we simply put the numbers from 1 to 12 before 点. Please repeat after me. 点, 点, 点. For example, 1 o'clock is 一点, is the number 1, 一 plus 点. 一点, 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 one o'clock. For two o'clock, you might think it's 二点, but this one is an exception. Two o'clock is not 二点, instead it's 两点. Chinese has two different ways of saying the number two, 二, which you already know, and 两. R is used when counting, doing math, and saying a sequence of numbers like a phone number. It's not usually used with measure words. Liang is used with measure words. We'll talk about measure words more in another lesson. For now, you just need to remember that when telling time, if it's 2 o'clock, you should say Liang Dian instead of R Dian. Please repeat after me. Liang Dian. 两点, 两点, 2 o'clock. 3 o'clock is 三点, it's the number 3, 三 plus 点, 三点, 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 3 o'clock. Okay, now let's have a quiz. How do you say 7 o'clock in Chinese? Correct. 7 o'clock is 七点, it's the number 7, 七 plus 点, 七点, 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 7 o'clock. How do you say 10 o'clock? Correct. 10 o'clock is 十点, it's the number 10, 十 plus 点, 十点, 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 10 o'clock. How do you say 12 o'clock? That's right, 12 o'clock is 十二点, it's the number 12, 十二 plus 点, 十二点, 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 12 o'clock. Okay. Now, let's learn how to add minutes to the hour. To add minutes to the hour, we simply put the numbers from 0, 1 to 59 before fin. Please repeat after me. Fin, fin, fin. For example, 7.05 is 七点零五分. It's the hour part, 七点, 7 o'clock, followed by the minute part, 零五分. 0, 5. Note that for the minute part, I said 零, 五, 0, 5 instead of 五, 5. It's just like how in English you would say 7, 0, 5 instead of 7, 5. In Chinese, if the number of minutes in the time is less than 10, you have to say 零, 0 before the number. Please repeat after me. 七点零五分 七点零五分, 七点零五分, 7.05 202 is 两点零二分 It's the hour part 两点, 2 o'clock, followed by the minute part 零二分, 02 Remember how when the hour part is 2, we have to say 两 instead of 二 when saying the minutes, we say R instead of Liang. The reason for this is we are actually saying a sequence of numbers, Ling R, 0, 2. Liang is never used in a sequence of numbers. If it's 2 o'clock, you say Liang Dian. And if the minute part is 0, 2, you say Ling R Fen. Please repeat after me. Liang Dian, Ling R Fen. 两点零二分, 两点零二分, 202. 
Eight seventeen is 八点十七分 It's the hour part. 八点 eight o'clock, followed by the minute part. 十七分 seventeen minutes. 八点十七分八点十七分八点十七分 eight seventeen. Three ten is 三点十分 It's the hour part. 三点 three o'clock, followed by the minute part. 十分 ten minutes. 三点十分三点十分三点十分 three ten. When telling the time, "fen" can be omitted unless the minute part is ten minutes. So for seven o five, the minute part is five minutes. So I could omit "fen" and just say 七点零五 This is also the case for two o two, since the minute part is two minutes, and for eight seventeen, where the minute part is seventeen minutes. However, in the case of three ten, the minute part is ten minutes, so "fen" cannot be omitted. You have to say. 三点十分 In case you are wondering why, whenever we tell the time in Chinese, we say at least two character numbers for the minutes. If the number of minutes is less than ten, we add 零 to make it two numbers, such as 零五 or 零二 If the number is greater than ten, we also say at least two character numbers, such as in 十七 The number ten shi is the only case where you just say a one character number. If you stop at shi, it feels incomplete because people are waiting to hear another number. To make it sound complete, you have to say fen. Okay, now let's have a quiz. How do you say six o seven? Correct, six o seven is. 六点零七分 is the hour part. 六点 six o'clock, followed by the minute part. 零七分 zero seven. 六点零七分六点零七分六点零七分 six o seven. Since the minute part here is not ten, you can omit fen. And just say 六点零七 How do you say eleven ten? Correct. It's 十一点十分 It's the hour part. 十一点 eleven o'clock, followed by the minute part. 十分 ten minutes. 十一点十分十一点十分十一点十分 eleven ten. Since the minute part here is ten minutes, fen cannot be omitted. How do you say two forty nine? Correct. It's 两点四十九分 It's the hour part. 两点 two o'clock, followed by the minute part. 四十九分 forty nine minutes. 两点四十九分。两点四十九分。两点四十九分。Two forty nine. Since the minute part here is not ten, you can omit fen and just say 两点四十九 Okay. Now let's have a look at a few special cases when telling the time. First. When the minute part is thirty minutes, we can use 半 which means half. Please repeat after me. 半半半 For example, if the time is ten thirty, as we already learned, you can say 十点三十分 Another way to say this is 十点半 It's like saying half past ten in English. Please repeat after me. 十点半十点半
十点半 half past ten. If the time is eight thirty, you can say 八点三十分 or 八点半 Please repeat after me. 八点半八点半八点半 half past eight. Next, when the minute part is a multiple of fifteen minutes, you can use 刻 which means a quarter of an hour or fifteen minutes. Please repeat after me. 刻刻刻 For example, if the time is one fifteen, you could say 一点一刻一点 one o'clock. And e k one quarter, which is fifteen minutes. And if the time is one forty-five, you could say 一点三刻一点 one o'clock, and 三刻 three quarters, which is forty-five minutes. I don't want to repeat the pronunciation for these times using 刻 because although this is technically correct Chinese and textbooks do teach it. I have never heard a native Chinese speaker use "ke" to tell time, and it sounds very strange to me. So I don't recommend ever saying it. So for one fifteen, please just say 一点十五分 and for one forty-five, please just say 一点四十五分 And our last special case is 差 Cha means lacking and is used to express the number of minutes until the next hour. Please repeat after me. Cha. 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 This can be used when it's getting close to the next hour. For example, for three fifty is ten minutes to four, so you can say, Cha shi fen si dian. Cha means lacking. 十分 means ten minutes, and 四点 means four o'clock. So literally, it means lacking ten minutes four o'clock. In other words, ten minutes to four. Please repeat after me. 差十分四点差十分四点差十分四点 ten minutes to four. And two fifty-five is five minutes to three, so you can say 差五分三点 which means lacking five minutes three o'clock. In other words, five minutes to three. Please repeat after me: 差五分三点差五分三点差五分三点 five minutes to three. Okay, now let's have a quiz on the special cases. First, how do you say six thirty? Correct. You can say 六点半 You can also say 六点三十分 or omit 分 and just say 六点三十 How do you say eight fifteen? Although you could say 八点一刻 I don't recommend you use 刻 when telling time. Please just say 八点十五分 or 八点十五 How do you say 8:50? Correct. You can say 差十分九点 which means lacking ten minutes nine o'clock or ten minutes to nine. You can also say 八点五十分 or 八点五十 Okay, now let's learn how to ask the current time. To ask what time is it in Chinese, we say 现在几点现在 means now. 几 is a question word used to ask about a small number, and 点 is a measure word for hours. So literally, you're asking now what hour, and people will answer with the current time, including hours and minutes. Please repeat after me. 
现在几点？现在几点？现在几点 ？What time is it? Right now it's seven o five. So if you ask me the question, 现在几点 ？What time is it? I'll answer. 现在七点零五分。Please repeat after me. 现在七点。零五分。现在七点零五分。现在七点零五分。Now it's seven o five. So now let me ask you this question. 现在几点 ？Please check the current time where you are and answer in Chinese. Very good. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more videos and please hit the notification bell.